Oh, Smokey. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, <laughs> I, uh, it's a Saturday, I know. Shocker. Um, I borrowed a huck gun from work. And these little babies are expensive. They're like 2,500 bucks. So, you know, the beauty of working at a Peterbilt dealership, they've got all the tools to do hucks. So, um, and being that it's Saturday, they don't need it this afternoon. And I can have it all day tomorrow, Sunday, and then I can take it back to work on Monday, <laughs> right? As long as I don't break it, because then I gotta buy it. But um, yeah, so anyways, we're going to huck the hucks. And I got some spray primer, so I'm gonna pull those top hucks out, give a little shh, 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 primer, and, um, and then might do some body filler. And I got some rivets, and talk to the body shop about in here, because you can't, I can't get the huck gun in there, but I can use the, the, um, the squish rivets that I got. And I also got, which these are the, the squish rivets, of course, that we did in the last episode. So I can put those in there and, uh, and that'll be okay. So, so yeah, but you know what? One thing with the squish rivets is they're, they're a bit of a, they're a bit of a bugger. They're not easy. And I've screwed a few up to tell you the truth, but um, so that's the only thing I'm worried about doing those. But that's probably a look better than doing um, the uh, mono bolts because these are, these, you know, they look like a rivet, but they're called mono bolts, or at least, I don't know if those ones are. I got them, I got some over here. Why don't I bring them over here? So I got some, some of these, which they look like a rivet, but I'm told they're called a mono bolt. Why? I have no idea. But like that, sucks in like a rivet. And I'm gonna use these for like in here. And I could use those in place of a squish rivet, but the heads are a different size. So if I use that there, it's gonna look different. Now, of course, the hucks are stronger and I think the hucks are stronger than a than a squish rivet, but um, but I can't get them in there, so I'm not going to do it. And uh, that's that's what I'm saying. So and these are going to go in there like that, just like that, and then that'll be that. And I don't know, I don't remember what was there, huh? There was something there. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I know. I I don't remember. And this is the problem with taking a while to do the project. Like, where was that? Hmm. Guessing it's where two panels met. And it was on the inside because it's got smoke damage, so... This is why you should never leave your projects too long, guys. <laughs> I want to say there was a light or bracket or... I don't know. We'll figure out what was in there. You know what? Maybe we'll reference an old video. So anyways, I'm going to get to it. And one of the other things I got to do is I got to move Smokey out of the way. And I'm going to park him out back by the woodshed. Um, just to make more room for when it snows again. It actually warmed up and is melted. It's like... What is it, six degrees today? It's supposed to be nine degrees tomorrow. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, yeah, it's warm. So first things first, I'm gonna move Duke. I'm gonna park him over there. Cause having him right in front of the shop, it's kind of a pain for plow and snow uh, and the path. I just uh, connected my, um, my night switch, <laughs> checking for, any water ingress. Ooh, looks good. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. For my vanilla air fresheners. There's <laughs> nothing quite like a good air freshener. My floor is dirty too. Oh yeah, smells good in here. So let's put some heat in the engine. That's my fan. She's a little noisy. Oh yeah, such a good truck. So now I'm gonna let it run for a little bit.
warm it up, get some heat in the cab, and then we'll move it. First of all, fast idler. There we go. Love the smell of diesel fuel in the morning. It's actually not morning, it's around lunchtime. So one of the things I have to do is put my air chuck fitting on because the shop uses that style and I use this style. So, you know, I just got to make sure I change it back when I take it back. But, um, you know, because otherwise they'll be really unpopular. <laughs> yeah. Order home and let it run for a while. Shovel the snow out from the floor. Yeah. These are the collars. I don't think it's rocket science. Just slip the collar over and... Mm -hmm. I think they're very similar to the same idea as a pop rivet. Mm -hmm. But just different. More scoopamer. So if you don't mind just holding them in, oh. I'll... Uh, I think I'll start at that top one and then just work my way down. Top one? Top one. Okay. Okay. Kind of shoot out at my knee. Okay. Yep. That looks good. So I, I hucked around here. I used my, whatchamacallit bolt. I can't remember what I called it. There and there. And now here, because I can't get the rivets, uh, pardon me, the hucks up in there, I can use squish rivets for here. You could use pop rivets there and then put the dome on them. Well, the problem is though, I think the squish rivets are stronger than a pop rivet, according to Brad. Mm -hmm. okay. So, anyways, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because those are probably bigger rivets that you have with the dome, I think. I'll go get a one just, just for shits and giggles. Okay, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go move um, Duke. in here though. What the heck? Uh, I'm gonna have to get that sorted. Because it's up to temperature. 
Well, just park them out of the way here. I was just gonna open the hood because it's not, um, I'm not getting heat. Oh. So I don't know if I got a tap turned off wrong. I'll hold that. I might be getting a... <laughs> Watch him get a shower. <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> Yeah, missed me. Because <laughs> I think that should be. Unless it's. I just have. You might have air in it. I must. Because everything's hooked up. There's a tap. Yeah, I got air in it. Because I think this tap is on. Like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to... That hose is a little warm, but these ones are like cold. <laughs> I know it's a stupid question. Is the dash switch turned on? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. You only got one tap. Well, there's another tap down there, but that one does the sleeper heater. Oh, okay. So, maybe I just need to loosen a clamp and let it... Mm -hmm. ...or something. Oh, well. Project for another day. I think. Or I'll come back and come back and uh, loosen it off. Probably too big. Mm hmm. Okay. They're like 3 16 Then we have these ones. Yeah, those look like the right size. See, these here, after you pop them, you put that in. Oh yeah, and you, you just uh, drive it in. Does that work on these ones? Yeah. Well, why don't we do that? Try then? try one and see what you think. Yeah. Okay. So this is a ceiling foam for when I do around there. So I got to put some foam around the vent, and because uh, they use this in the body shops for ceiling. But uh, I'll throw this in there, and in the meantime, let's try um, let's try some rivets. So, in theory, it's a part for down there. You have another rivet just to hold it. all these up. <laughs> hey. There we go. I think that's going to work. Me do it, so if I hit it, 
then I'm the one that... Oh, yeah. Well, that looks better, I think, than... I mean, the squish rivets might be stronger, but that is a nicer finish. Mm -hmm. I just need to put... wonder if I should do them along there, too. Well, it would match them. I mean, in theory, those kind of match, too, but I've kind of effed yeah. some up. Well, and if they come loose, you can just do it again, right? Well, they won't come loose. Like the bus nuts use lots of them. So somebody said with the uh, squish rivets, if you put a little piece of tape on the tool, it prevents or helps prevent the marring or something like that. So let's try it. I'm a little nervous about this tool just because I marked a bunch of those. And at least these rivets, they might not hold as strong, but they look good. So, but I think for these ones, it probably should be the ones that hold stronger, but I'm a little Why nervous. Why don't you just try with the tape on one of these ones you've marked. Yep. Just like say there, just try doing it and see if it'll smooth it out. Smooth it out. Just hold it with both hands sort of thing. Mind you, might be a case because it's, might be better if it's the smoothie side. So should I use these or should I use rivets for there? Well, the only thing is if you use the pop rivets, the whole roll look the same. It's true. Whereas the other rivets are a little, just a tad bigger. Unless I use these rivets on the end. So yeah, I, like up there I would. Okay. That's what we'll do. Actually, I won't put those in because it'll fall out. I know how this goes. My big chunk of dolly, <laughs> aka steel, dolly steel, and my hearing protectors. Let's give it a go. Oh, I hate the way it scratches on the back of my neck. I can hear it in my ears. <laughs> as long as it stays in there. 
No, that did it. I think for this one, I'm just going to do rivets. Mm -hmm. Here's your uh, other tool. <laughs> the other tool scares me a little bit. <laughs> it's definitely um, aggressive. Yeah. I think the tape did help though. That's a better way to do it. Two hands on the trigger. Tip of that other one might have broke off in there, which could be my issue. There we go. Ah. It was in here like that, and then just rivets down and rivets in there. But I gotta trim this because it doesn't quite fit. Which end is too long? Or both? Well. Well, you know, like lining up the holes? Mm hmm. I might have to take a little bit off each one. Or does that have to go underneath there? Well, this should be square, so I just need to sand that down a bit and that side I think is okay so I just have to get a disc grinder I took my disc grinder to the other house so I'm just gonna try using this cutting well mine's wheel. here is yours here yeah oh well I'll just use dad's <laughs> except it needs a disc well I, I'm putting the flapper disc in it anyways yeah because I exploded the last 
Exploded. My shield for protection. That works. I'm gonna put some primer on that first though. So I just wanted to put some of this primer, of course I didn't really want to paint that hinge, but um, just where I ground the metal, cause it's underneath where I'm gonna be riveting. So I just wanted to get in there. Good enough, and while that dries, I'll put the hooks in the top. We'll put this sealer tape around the in inside. So my vent is somewhat waterproof. I'll take the oh. phone. Actually, I need to do this. long enough you ding bit matters which way I probably doesn't really you want me to push some of them in if you want to well it'll be easier for me to put it in then. okay one you start on? Um, maybe this one here, second one down from the top. There we go. <laughs> That's done. So what, <sighs> my battery died. What I did here is this one huck is not a huck. That's a rivet and these are hucks. And the reason why I put a rivet there is if we look on the inside, the I couldn't get in there with a huck. So um, but yeah, look at that. Dang, it's looking good. Now, 
I just have to huck across the top. Um, I'd like to do the bodywork before I do that, but I'm gonna take this spray paint primer I have and just prime it, let it dry, and then I'm gonna huck this cap on, and then I'll do, you know, whatever bodywork and filler ooh, I have to do like there above it. And then that way I can, you know, work without the huck gun, because I have to take the huck gun to work, so, because, you know, it's not mine. And they're worth about $2,500 I've seen, so. A um, little bit of a bugger to work around the rivets, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna do that. Nothing worse than old masking tape. <laughs> Except for no masking tape at all, I guess. I guess. So I put some hot bolts in here that I'm going to do up, uh, prime that, but then I got to looking, this grab handle, I believe there's a hole in it there, so I think, I'm not sure which is the front, I think this was the front here, and if I line that up, it lines up with that hole. So, but this bolted on. So I'm gonna have to um, do something different there. And I think, uh, I don't think I can huck those. I think I'm gonna have to squish rivet them, so. So anyways, let's huck rivet these back ones and then see, uh, see what I gotta, gotta do there to make it work, so. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> there we go. Hucks for days, but the grab handle grabs these two holes and then this hole. So I, I'll have to drill holes for that. Um, and uh, <clears throat> there is a filler piece for this. How do I know you ask? Well, let me tell you. So over here, if we go look, I pulled this side up and there is a little filler piece there, right there. This will have to be cleaned out, but. So somewhere in my mess, I have a little piece of aluminum. I just don't know where it is, so. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, not great, but you know what? That's, it's, it's here somewhere. We just have to find it, so. But um, I think it's looking good. We're making progress. Although this door, it's, it lines up like perfect there, tight. There's just a little bit more of a gap there. I don't know if I'm being a little bit uh, fussy to want to get that perfect, but. <sighs> Also, don't want to have to undo those hucks. Although, those are rivets, so I could drill them out and I might do that yet. But then I'd need ruin all, ru ruining all of these to get just a little bit, just a little bit. But I just um, take the trim off of the disc or just give it a little sand job. Oh, but uh, that's how it's going to be. You can see the body line there, but uh, but that's okay because. You know what? This truck is not perfect. It was on fire. There was real fire there. And I was inside and now I got a sneeze. <laughs> so the one thing Smokey is going to need is a good clean inside. Because I still got some smoke damage to clean. And all the dust and fiberglass dust has to get cleaned out. And um, 
And then I, what I want to do is I want to spray the whole inside with some uh, paint to seal up any any mystery smells like smoke. But um, but yeah, it's coming along. Door could probably use some adjustment. There we go. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta give it a good mm, slam. I also put a little bit of primer there, but it still needs some sanding down. But and to the subscriber that mentioned about putting masking tape over the end, that really does work good. But. I have one that got buggered up up here that I have to redo. This one right here. So it's, okay, I'm learning. I'm new and I'm trying. So it's kind of half in, half out, half. So we'll fix that. And you know what? The next time I do this, <laughs> if there is a next time, I'll be that much wiser. So, um, and this is my, the light for in here and it just rivets right there and the switch rivets right here but I need a new switch and I want to rivet in the plate that goes behind it first so, so that's what I'm gonna do so anyways guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button subscribe down below we'll see you in the next one and maybe just maybe I can get to 100,000 subscribers before I turn 52. It's unlikely, but you know what? Positive attitude. <laughs> okay, I'm going for dinner. Stark out.